Aren't you usually in favor of like dark powers and communing with them? How comes you don't like this psycho? Let's talk to Argenta. Rogue traitor. Did they voice part of those dialogues? That would be so cool. Sargenta looks tired. There are dark circles on her eyes. Her hair is somewhat disheveled. She moves like she's a little on edge. You said you have a personal request for me. I indeed have a request. Nice. It is voiced. Or not. At least pass of it. <laughs> The cursed servants of Chaos who assaulted the ship took the lives of your loyal crew members. They orphaned many children, including the progeny of the brave officers who defended their posts until the bitter end. <sighs> I don't know what customary practice there are for cases like this in the Von Valencia's territory, but in the world I'm familiar with, the children of such brave souls could expect to receive some special consideration. Perhaps the rock creator could meet with their orphans. Synchronized psychers in this universe, the dark powers are not to be messed with. They are always a pawn. True. I guess. I mean, same with demons in Dragon Age, though they seem less bad than those here. Gently problem solving. What good would a meeting do? These children are the, fu are the future of our crew. And one day, they will have to stand against evil and heresy as their parents did. By meeting them, by speaking the right words to them, they will honor the memory of the fallen heroes and light the way to heroes in the making. They will always remember the day they met the rogue trader. Besides, it will bolster the orphan spirits, help them recover from their loss, which can be hard for someone so young. I really like those two sides so far of Agenta, with like being completely merciless and I will shoot everything down and caring like that. That's kind of cool. And I mean, could be that this completely backfires but Eva will try to do the whole thing the least formal it can be, be a little bit more personal. I will meet with them, no formalities required. These are the children of the people who gave their lives for the Von Valentius dynasty. My consideration is the least they deserve. I'll pass on your instructions. Thank you for taking my request to heart. Nice, are we doing that right now? Completely, ah, not, not anymore. The motley group of adolescents do not take their eyes off you, gazing at you as if you were a creature straight from a fairy tale. It seems like we are quite deep in the belly of the ship. Our indefectible sister has been keen on an eye on these pups. Her glances at the gathered children. It is hardly the scholar progenium in here, but we have provided the orphans on our ship with adequate care and instruction. Scholar well, Progenium, a division of the Classery, Ecclesiaci, responsible for the upbringing, education, and training of orphans of those officers and nobles who have died in the service of the Imperium. Most children of the Scholar Progenium grow up to serve the Adeptus Ministerium, become military leaders, or join the elite military. Particularly devout female students may be recruited to the militant orders of the Adepta Soro Sororites, which are the Battle Sisters. Those who display psychic aptitude, if they are strong enough and will, go on to receive further training as sanctionized psychers. Yeah, Warhammer Church School. Ginger's standing to the side of the group. When you approach, she perks up and announces, her voice ringing, Brave ones, the master of the ship has appeared before you, the one who guides it through the darkness and the universe by the Emperor's will. Greet your Lord's Captain. The rogue trader of House von Valentius. An 
Edward smiles at the group. Your Lord Captain greets you, brave ones. Teenagers keep staring at you. A girl who's remained close to Argenta smiles uncertainly. A skinny pale lad tries to throw his shoulders back and stand at attention like a soldier. Only a few teenagers at the far end of the row seem sullen and not particularly impressed. One of the scouting visitors with a thin scar across his face tosses his head back and says bitterly, So what? Why should we care? Our friends and parents died and their dozens for you, noble lot. And you just give... You just give us speeches. Adenta quickly turns to the boy. A flurry of emotions flashes in her dark eyes, like she wants both to calm him and scold him for his impudence. Yeah, the two sides of her. Nice. I probably would have went there as a priest. You as a noble would have had private tutors. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. And Edward once again addresses the group. If you have things to say, say them without fear. I will listen. The boy smiles grimly. It doesn't matter what we say. We will bring our parents back. We won't change our fates either. We keep slaving away on this ship until we drop and die like our folks. Worse. I mean, he is kind of right. <laughs> but well, that's all I have for you. Sorry, kid. <laughs> yeah, and everyone would definitely go the empathetic way. I understand your grief and dismay. Your parents died. It's not an easy thing to go through. But they gave their lives for the truth, for the good of the world, whole ship, for the Imperium. Do not speak of their honorable fate with anger and disdain. You heard the rogue trader. His words carry the wisdom of the Imperium. The worst you could always be a servitor. I wonder how much you actually experience as a servitor. What of you is left? It's hard to say whether or not your words have left an impression on the boy, but he nods slowly. Then he catches himself and gives you an awkward bow. Abelard gives a sign. Servants immediately emerge carrying packaged treats with one Valencius emblazoned on the wrappers. <laughs> boy. <laughs> it appears the shell came prepared for any contingency. Somewhat. But interrupts the temple pensively. She smiles and offers a few more words of encouragement, then leaves the bay. Yeah, trying to do the good you can in the world of Warhammer. Mechanic servitors. Depends. They can alter the procedure so that you can still be aware of your surroundings, but unable to do anything, or you could be completely brain dead. Yeah, sounding completely brain dead definitely sounds like the better thing than just watching. <laughs> e, agenda. Get to know you a little better. Greetings. Even in stillness, Sister Argenta radiates energy. With her dark eyes shining and a slight blush to her cheeks, she's reciting prayer and looks at you only once she has spoken the final line. You know, tell me about the Adepta Soro Sororitas. Sororitas. Why is that so hard to say? Gladly. There are none more faithful to the God nice. Emperor than my sisters. We fight against his enemies by the will of the Holy Ecclesiarchy. We... <laughs> I beg your pardon, rogue trader. Here I am talking about what every lesser noble in the Imperium knows. So what exactly are you interested in hearing about? <laughs> we try to remember Ecclesiarchy. Uh, let's see. They say the Adept of Sor 
Sororitas are the fiercest in their favor among the warriors of the Imperium. Is that true? It is. The Sisters of Battle are a fire lit by the God Emperor. They are the echo of his voice that travels through the dark expanses of the universe. We bring his wrath to heretics, mutants, and other enemies of humanity. We protect the faithful from the unholy and unhallowed. Sometimes with words, more often than not with a bolter. I, I guess so, looking at your portrait, my dear friend. <laughs> Are all sisters truly as faultless as you say? Even the novices of the Adeptus Aurorius are drawn from among the most worthy. Those who have taken the vows and become a full-fledged sister are the best of the best, tested by trials of body and spirit. Yes, there have been cases when a sister stumbled or showed weakness, but do not expect to hear a story of depravity or downfall from me. Yeah, but I guess all the organizations really seem to have the survival of the fittest thing. Each such occurrence is a great tragedy for us all. Light cannot bear the smallest speck of darkness within. And thus those who have trespassed or shown weakness of spirit are given a chance at redemption. They are called Sisters Repentia, and may the enemy tremble before her, for nothing mm. can stop a sister of battle who yearns to be cleansed of faults and weakness. Wearing nothing but robes, no armor, oh eviscerator in hand. Those sisters who have once faltered find repentance on the battlefield. Their lives are seldom long, but uh -huh. a death in the name of purgation is a better fate than to live with a shadow in one's soul. Oh boy. They go all out. I mean, one sister of battle, to my knowledge, has fallen to chaos. They are one of the most loyal militaries in the Imperium. Yeah, they sound like all the way devout. It's really hard to tempt them. Interesting organization. Ah, and that's our cat. I love that you get so much background and stuff and information you can ask and read. And now it's even voiced. What order are you from? Once I had completed my novitiate, I was sent to the Calixian branch of the Order of Our Martyred Lady, assigned to the Order's Pronatus. The Order's mission is vital and noble. Mm. The Sisters Pronatus protect great relics of the Imperium. We guard them, preserve them, escort them when they are brought onto the battlefield or presented for pilgrims to venerate. One of those... Artifacts are oh, those relics. If they actually do something, it's just like a morale holy thing. And we seek out the relics that have been lost. Neither a coven of heretics nor the most wicked death world can deter Sisters Pronatus when mm. their goal is to return a piece of the great legacy of the Imperium into the hands of the faithful. I guess you really don't want them coming for you. You said you belong to the Calixian branch of your order. Brought you to the Corona's expanse. The order sent me to Footfall. Ah. My undertaking was to assist the local priesthood of Drusians in caring for a sacred reliquary that had been there since the time of Pastor Mr. Wayne, the station's founder. Where have she found it? Drusians. Followers of the cult of St. Rusus, a legendary hero of the Angevin, Angevin Crusade, who founded the Calixa Sector for the Imperia, Imperium of Men. The Drusians believe in continuing mankind's crusade and bringing new worlds into the Imperium's folds. They value asketism, self-sacrifice, loyalty to the cause, and fearlessness. Just as the patron saint once did. Again, depends on the relics. Some are powerful weapons, some are pieces of history. <laughs> Makes sense. Are there any other members of the Adeptus Sororitas Sor <laughs> in the Corona's Expanse? None that I'm aware of, but the Sisterhood's orders are many, and can operate independently of one another, sending their sisters wherever their presence is needed as deemed by the Ecclesiarchy. Perhaps somewhere in the Lord Inquisitor's retinue, may his path be blessed, my sisters perform their duty as we speak. 
Mm. I wish it were so. Even a single evening spent in joint prayer and training would bring me joy. I have no more questions about the sisterhood. Should any more arise, keeping them to yourself would be imprudent. It is a virtue to take an interest in holiness. Definitely interesting. The Order of a Martyr Lady is one of the major orders militant of the Adepta Sororitas, of the Sisters of Battle, founded in honor of Saint Catherine by the Ecclesiarch, Alexis the Twenty Second, the long lived successor of the great reformer Sebastian Fall, in the thirty sixth millennium, when the location of the Adepta Sororitas primary convent, convent was split between Terra and Ophelia Seven, creating, amongst others, the Order of a Martyr Lady. Ah. You know, tell me something about yourself. About me? I am the Emperor's daughter and his servant. What else is there to tell about me? And that's the thing we talked about earlier. Um, there's nothing else beside the Emperor for her, right? And with that, it kind of makes sense that you can't romance her, I guess. How did you end up on Theodora's ship? I first came here when I found myself in need of passage from Footfall to a remote planet. But I imagine what interests you is not that first journey, but rather what brought me aboard prior to the pirate attack. That story is... complicated. It just so happened that I... <clears throat> you sound so hesitant. This expression darkens visibly. Did she, like, fail her... Hello, quest looking for the relic? I made a mistake. In a moment of laxity, I was ambushed by the accursed followers of the arch enemy. I was badly wounded. Lady Theodora mm. came to my aid and brought me aboard her ship, where her crew attended to me in my weakened state. It all happened not too long ago. I barely recovered from my wounds when the pirates struck. Truly, the servants of evil know no rest. There is no place where we can be safe from their machinations. Interesting. It's not been quite the fight to harm, wound, assist of battle that much. What happened to the people who wounded you? Did Theodora's men eliminate them? Sadly, they did not. Lady Theodora was in a hurry and chose not to stay on the planet. Her people took me to a ship while I was unconscious, and when I came to my senses, we were already flying away. Oh, how I pray to come face to face with those heretics once more, and it's bound to happen someday. Call of the battle. You mentioned making a mistake. It happens even to the best of us. My mistakes <laughs> are my burden to bear. I'll find a way to atone for them. Uh, what did she do? Was it maybe that she didn't attack fast enough or something? Hmm. Legend just says heatedly, then she frowns, lowers her head for a moment. So, where did this happen? On one of the recently discovered planets in the Expanse. No one suspected that it had already been tainted by the filth of heresy. Had I known it beforehand, of course I would have been on my guard. You know, we could go to that planet and deal with the Chaos Worshippers. The path to that planet was lost. All the knowledge is gone, along with the mm -hmm. previous navigator. It would take immense effort and resources to rediscover the route. The heir to the Von Valancy's protectorate must have plenty of other issues to deal with right now. Perhaps later, when the skies above our heads have cleared. I mean, so far we can't even travel to another system, so once a bit of time. Jinta's eyes glint. She hesitates, but then shakes her head a sigh. So, what was it like traveling on Theodora's ship? I hadn't been here that long. Just one journey from Footfall, and the other journey, the majority of which I spent in the confines of the Med Bay. I can't tell you much about the first voyage. I was more focused on prayers and ruminations than on the people around me. 
or the journey itself. During the last journey, Seneschal Viserion stood out for me. He came by several times to ask about my health. Mm -hmm. He's an honorable man and a loyal servant of the Imperium. Is he still alive? I think he is as meticulous in his inspections of the logistic systems as he is in his inquiries about the health of the occasional sister of battle aboard the ship. But not all of the Adora's people have earned my trust. Mm -hmm. You know who I'm talking about. Uh -huh. There is no place for Adira Tlas among the God Emperor's faithful. I'm surprised she wasn't in league with the pirates. And I'm equally surprised by how deep heresy and treason run in this place. I'm glad we all made it through that dark hour. May the day that follows be bright. I don't have any more questions, thank you. As you wish. I mean, not that I'm not glad that you're here, but what is it that's keeping you and my retinue? This ship was targeted by heretical pirates, which means that my presence here and the assistance I provide to you are my sacred duty. Sooner or later, I will likely have to return to Footfall to protect its reliquary. But for mm. now, I wish to remain a part of the Rogue Trader's crew. And let's see if that's truly just time borrowed. Yeah, I think they're going to come to Hut soon. Oh, yes. I just wonder how violent that will be. And I guess the answer is yes. I enjoy your company, Argenta. It was a nice talk. I hope that you remain in the crew and that this ship becomes your home. Those are... Very courteous words, rogue trader. Thank you, both for your words and your hospitality. Gives you another somewhat puzzled look. Are they too flirting for you? Well, thank you for this conversation. Until next time. Why? Uh, who to talk to next? Lads. Lord Captain. Lad surveys you briskly, but meticulously, though he's inspecting you for shortcomings. <laughs> well, then he offers a cautious nod. Let's talk about the thing that might be useful to me as a rogue trader. 